Samachar. In our previous lectures, we have already completed chapter number 1 to 6 and chapter number 11. Today, we are going to start revision of chapter number 2, Shapes and Angles. We will discuss about what are angles, different types of angles, how angles are measured, paths associated with angles and how to draw an angle with the help of protector. So, let's begin. Now, let us see what is an angle. An angle is formed when two rays meet at the same end point. So, students, here you can see the figure. So, this figure A, O, B is an angle. An angle is measured in degrees. And students, how do we write this angle AOB? We write like this. Angle AOB. Angle is formed when two rays meet at the same end point. Clear students? Now what are the terms associated with angle? The two rays of the angle are called the sides or arcs of the angle. So here you can see. The two rays of the angle, they are called sides or arcs of the angle. So here OA and OB are the arcs of the angle. Next, the common end points where both the arcs of the angle meet is called vertex of the angle. So here you can see both the arcs, they meet at the common point. It is known as vertex. So here point O is the vertex of the angle A, O, B. And students, remember whenever we are writing vertex, vertex of angle, it is always in the center. So now let us do the question. Write the names of the angle, vertex and arms. So students, here you can see the figure. What is the angle there? Angle A, B, C. So let us write. Students, so this is a symbol for angle. Then we will write A, B and C. We will write these in capital letter. Now, what is the vertex? I told you, vertex is always in the middle of the angle. So what is vertex here? Point B. So right here, B. What are the arms? Arms are... AB and BC. So let us write here AB and BC. Now B part. What is the angle there? Angle PQR. So let us write here angle PQR. Now vertex. Vertex is in the middle. So vertex is point Q. So write here Q. Arms. What are the two arms? PQ and QR. So right here. PQ and QR. Now let us discuss different types of angles. Number one, acute angle. An angle that is more than 0 degree and less than 90 degree. So students, here you can see an acute angle. It is more than 0 degree and less than 90 degree. For example, 60 degree. It is more than 0 degree but less than 90 degree. It is an example of acute angle. Number 2, right angle. An angle that measures exactly 90 degree. Students, when angle is exactly 90 degree, it is right angle. So this is the figure of right angle. Number 3, obtuse angle. An angle which measures more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. So students, this is an example of obtuse angle. It is more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. For example, 165 degree. It is more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. Number 4, straight angle. An angle that measures exactly 180 degree. An angle that measures exactly 180 degree is called straight angle. So this is the example of straight angle. Number 5. Reflex angle. 
An angle that measures more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree. So this is an example of reflex angle. It is more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree. Example 195 degree. It is more than 180 and less than 360 degree. Now number 6. Complete angle. An angle that measures exactly 360 degree. What is complete angle? An angle that measures exactly 360 degree. So this is an example of complete angle. So let us do question based on different types of angles. So the question is, see what type of angles these are. A bar 162 degree. So students, this angle is more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. So which angle is this? Obtuse angle. So let us write here obtuse. O B T U S E. Obtuse angle. Now B bar 58 degree. Students, this is more than 0 degree but less than 90 degree. Which angle is this? Acute angle. So write here A C U T E. Acute angle. Number 3, 90 degree. An angle that measures exactly 90 degree is right angle. So right here, R-I-G-H-T, right angle. Now D bar, 210 degree. It is more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree. Which angle? Reflex angle. So right here, R E. F L E X reflex angle. Now E bar 360 degree. It is exactly 360 degree. It is complete angle. So right here C O M P L E T E complete angle. So I hope students different types of angles is clear. Next question: How many degrees is the angle which is A bar? Half of a right angle. Students, I told you what is the meaning of off? It means into. So what we will do? Half off means into right angle is 90 degree. So divide 90 by 2, it is 45 degree. So half of right angle is 90 degree half, that is 45 degree. Now B part, 3 times of a right angle. 3 times means 3 into, so right here, 3 into 90 degree. It is 270 degree. Clear students? C part, 3 upon 2 of a right angle. So now let us do this. 3 upon 2 of means into 90 degree. So divide 90 degree by 2, it is 45 so now multiply 45 into 3. So 5 3 is a 15, 4 3 is a 12 and 13. 135 degree. So that's now you all know fractions. So now it is more easy for you. You simply have to multiply the numerators 3 and 45. The answer is 135 degree. Now D part 4 times of a right angle. 4 times means 4 into 90 degree. 9 fours are 36. That is 360 degree. Now let us see what is protector. A tool that is used to measure and draw angles. So students, this is a protector. I hope everybody has seen this. It is used to draw and measure the angles. A protector has two scales. So here you all can see the protector. It has Two scales. The outer scale reads from 0 degree to 180 degree reading from left to right. So the outer scale it reads from 0 degree to 180 degree from left to right. Next the inner scale reads from 0 degree to 180 degree reading from right to left. Inner scale reads from right to left. And outer scale reads from left to right. 
So now let us learn how to draw and measure angles with the help of protector. So what are the things we need to draw and measure the angle? A scale, a sharp pencil and a protector. Now question 